Today is the 7th of November. It's the first day of the COP. This morning we had the opening of the uh, 22nd Conference of Parties of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change. We had a formal handing over from the French presidency, who remained president from last year up to today. Uh, the French Environment Minister, Ségolène Royal, handed over to the Environment Minister of Morocco, who has now, as of today, become the president of the COP and will be for the next one year, including the next two weeks here in Morocco. Um, as I am an advisor to the Least Developed Countries group in the negotiations, and that will be one of my major tasks here is to advise them, particularly on the issues related to adaptation and loss and damage, I'm going to take this opportunity to tell uh, you a little bit about this group and its history. The Least Developed Countries are some of the poorest countries in the world. There are 48 of them, most of them in sub-Saharan Africa, but also some in Asia, including my country, Bangladesh. And they constitute the poorest countries in the world who also happen to be some of the most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change because of their geographic location uh, in Asia and Africa. And as a group of vulnerable countries, 10 years ago in COP6, uh, they came together as a group, they started negotiating as a group, and from that time onwards, I and my colleagues in IIED, the International Institute for Environment and Development, have been helping them, supporting them, building their capacity, uh, explaining technical issues to them. We run a series of workshops prior to every COP uh, to bring them up to speed on the issues, enable them to uh, be more effective in the negotiations by having coordinators for different topics uh, who can then follow those topics and others can then learn how to do that. We have had a series of chairs of the group who have increasingly been very, very effective chairs. Um, the current chair is Mr. Tosi Mpano Mpano from Democratic Republic of Congo. His predecessor was Mr. Giza Martin from Angola. His predecessor was uh, Mr. Paosman Jarju from the Gambia, who is now a senior minister for the Gambia and, and is one of our political leaders in the LDC group. So over the years, the LDC group has become a formidable negotiating group, initially focusing mainly on issues to do with adaptation, being a vulnerable country, on finance for adaptation, now increasingly on loss and damage. But most importantly, and last year in Paris, really punching above their weight in terms of getting the long-term temperature goal of one and a half degrees from countries like the Annex One, rich countries who didn't want to do it, in even the large developing countries like China and India and others who were not amenable at the beginning of the Paris COP. But in the end, at the end of the Paris COP, all countries agreed to having a one and a half degree long-term temperature goal. And that was a major achievement of the vulnerable countries, namely the least developed countries group, the small island states and the African continent. Here in Marrakesh, Two of those issues are going to be very important. One of them is the long-term temperature goal. Implementing it, getting it on paper in Paris was a good achievement, but implementing it is going to be even more difficult and getting implementation agreed here. And then the issue of loss and damage, which is an issue in the negotiations in uh, Marrakesh, and I'll speak about that in another one of my video logs.